Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm gonna be showing you how to install and how to use Kvakex mod pack. Um, so it pretty much just comes with about 20, 20 or so mods that are some of the best mods out there, and um, it's really easy to install because all of them come with their own installers. So here, let's get into it. So you're gonna want to open your web browser. So I like to use Google Chrome. Then you're gonna want to search Kvakex mod pack, whichever version is the newest. So 1.4.7 for me. Then you're gonna want to find the web page that has the link kvakexminecraft.com. Go here. Then go to the mod pack place. Please select your operating system. Obviously, if you Windows, click Windows, and if you have Mac, click Mac. So I have a Windows computer. Then. I like to install the alternate alternate link because AdFly is better. So once you have that downloaded, you're gonna want to open it with WinRAR. So Kvakex mod pack, and then um, when you open it up, there will be a folder called Kvakex mod pack. Then you're gonna want to click that, then go to 1.4.7 current version or whichever version is the most current version, I know they're probably going to make 1.4.8 soon, then here it says install me first, you're going to want to do just what the title says, install this first, so, here you go, install me first, then just click install, and then when it's finished installing, you go to optional installers for the mods, then click the mods folder, and now here are all the mods, um, we have like stuff like armor stand, Auto switch, Bapa's weapon mod, biospheres, clay soldiers, stuff like that. Some of the really good mods for 1.4. And uh, just um, my personal favorites, probably out of all these mods, are Ray's mini map, because it's a mini map, which is extremely helpful. Not enough items, which is too many items, but it's like a lot better. And then Hero Run EXE, or yeah, Hero Here Run, um, where you can make a herobrine totem and then spawn him in or well it doesn't spawn him in he just like stalks you it's kinda creepy and they have some flans mods which I like using and floating rooms okay so to install a mod what you're gonna wanna do is double click it so death chest I'm not actually gonna install it but er, well I guess I will install it so install then it'll come up with this like command prompt type screen then it'll say hit any key to continue, just press any key. And then it installs the mod for you. And then if you want to uninstall the mods, there's an uninstaller folder. Then you do uninstaller exe, and it'll be the exact same thing as installing a mod, except it uninstalls all your mods, which is the only bad thing about it. So, now we can load up Minecraft. And I, um, actually, yeah, <laughs> I changed the Mojang logo to a troll face. Okay, so here we go 18 mods. And I have no idea where I don't want to have to look for the mod, but yeah, so that's how to use Kavakix Mod Pack. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you all next time.